Welcome everybody to Star League Season 3, once again sponsored by Spevu. So happy to be back here. We are about to start the first day of the Challenger matches. Got to weave through all the lesser players to get our round of 16 to decide who will make it further on. That is Sorry. right. Absolutely, Valdez. It's going to be an exciting day. Three best of fives for the next uh, today, tomorrow, and then next week. Getting through that Challenger, as you said. Should be pretty exciting. Uh, starting off today, we do have Myungshik versus Journey. Yeah, that's going to be, be a bit of an interesting one. I'm actually really excited for this one because Journey's he, he's looking like a great play. We just don't get mm -hmm. to see much of him. He doesn't get that much traction yeah. in his current team in Pro League. But he, he's doing pretty well. He made it this far already. Maybe today is the day he makes it past Challenger. It could be. I mean, he was able to qualify all the way through those really, really rough qualifiers that we get out here for every single tournament. And, you know, he's gone up against Myungshik. It's not the strongest player in the world. Myungshik... No was on a bit of a roll, was doing quite well in GSL, you know, was doing pretty well in Pro League as well, but kind of just teetered out a bit, you know, kind of just staying at that level, hasn't really gone up anymore yeah. here. I think this is Journey's big opportunity, like you said, to I just think so. go with it and really get some good results. Yeah, you know, Myungshik was, uh, he was uh, really on fire at the start of this round as well mm. with Spenu, you know, sponsoring the team. He had a lot of hype behind him and, and he was doing really well, but then he kind of dropped off, so... I'm kind of worried for him today. Yeah, definitely worried. For you guys who are unfamiliar, uh, if you are unfamiliar, shame on you, but glad you're here, finally. Uh, we do have this challenger thing, and then we go into round of 16 with the group of four people. We do the GSL format, of course, uh, double elimination. And uh, this is, I believe, the seed. So from Star League, Maru Life, Biel and Zest. From Pro League, there was Rogue. Wow, we're really going through these ones really quickly. In the <laughs> we're getting these out of the way. <laughs> All right, well, these are the matches as well. We have uh, the first three today. Myoshik vs. Journey, Deer vs. Sue, Mari vs. Sora. And then tomorrow, we'll be having Rogue vs. Heart, Yell vs. Shine, and SOS vs. Solar. And then next week, we are going to have Zest vs. San, Dark vs. Yan. And another matchup that just disappeared from me uh, again today. For you guys who God need to know any of this us. information, you can find it all online. It's very easy. Go to teamliquid.net, various other sites, Liquipedia. But uh, of course, for today, Myungshik versus Journey is going to start us off. Then we go into Deer versus Sue, and then Maru versus Sora, which I, I think is going to be another interesting one, yeah, too. These are all really interesting games. I, I look at each one, and there could be an upset in each and every one of them. Maybe Maru versus Sora would be the, the hardest to kind of upset, but Deer could definitely make it work against Sue. Journey, he's, he's more of an unknown player, but he is very, very good. Could maybe do it against a, you know, a bit of an underwhelming young chick right now. Yeah. I think this first matchup for sure, I'm definitely agreeing with you here, Moonlight. This is the big chance for Journey to make a name for himself. Here's young chick. You get all these uh, stats here in Korean. It's uh, for the qualifiers that he made it here. He defeated Apocalypse Creator. And then it disappeared for me again, Moonlight. <laughs> yeah, he beat uh, Saxory, Creator, and Apocalypse. And he actually dropped the set to Creator as well before he managed to knock him out. So not the best, uh, not the hardest sort of road to, uh, to qualify for this. But he's here. He, he did what he had to do. And he did beat Apocalypse to one Terran in the process. So I guess that's something to go off. Apocalypse, he used to be a great player, but we haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah, I, I don't really think he can hold him to his former standard as it stands right now. But here's Journey now, on the other side of things. This guy, this guy went through some big names. He beat Bomber, he beat Sue, he beat Czech, and he beat a guy named Inyo. I don't know what that <laughs> means, fellas, or why well, he doesn't have a normal first name. Matchup, so. Yeah, it could yeah. just be a bit of an easy player. But still, you know, he's gone through some hard plays. Beating Bomber, huge, vic uh, huge victory there. Beating Sue, even bigger. No, uh, no Protosses to go by in recent times there. Yeah, seems to be doing well at least in the CDT and Z TDZ matchups. This is going to be a big test, especially because Myungshik is very aggressive. He's very in your face, and I know he's going to be challenging Journey here, especially yeah. because Journey hasn't really made that name for himself, whereas Myungshik, you know, kind of a, a bit of a cocky Protoss player. He loves to go all in, loves to play aggressive, and I wouldn't be surprised to see it tonight. Yeah, definitely. As we look at the maps here, the five it's the best of five, so we got five maps, Cactus Valley, Coda, Expedition Lost, Echo, and Vani Research to finish things off. Well, we got Iron Fortress in this full map. Yeah. Magic banning that one out, and Thank uh, Journey banning out Deadwing. Mm, makes sense. Makes sense. Most Terrans would probably try and avoid Deadwing over yeah, a lot of these other maps. Everyone except Maru. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maru's like, ah, you know, so, yeah, that's perfect. I actually. guess we'll just beat anyone on any map, doesn't matter. Yeah. 
Speaking of tomorrow, we'll be seeing him later against the Protoss player, Sora. But that'll be a bit later on tonight, guys. We're about to jump into match number one, set number one of the Challenger series here at Star League. Once again, sponsored by Spenu. It's going to be Nugstick versus Journey here. The first map is going to be Cactus Valley. Very good map. Let's go into it right now and see how it turns out. Down here in the bottom right in the blue from Team Spenu. It is Myungshik, our Protoss player. Rocking the Bob. He's had that for a while. He has indeed, Valdez. Up here in the top right, we do have the Terran player, Journey. Very exciting player. Used to be on SKT, now on mm -hmm. Samsung. Found a a better home for him where he can, uh, you know, get a lot more play time. But we haven't seen that much of him in Pro League this round, at least. Yeah, not much. Um, funnily enough, we talk about how good Journey is, but we see his counterpart, who actually did the same exact thing, Bravo, uh, came from SKT, went to Samsung. He plays a lot in Pro League. We get to see a lot of Bravo. He, he loves his TVT. Um, and we, we get to see him more often than Journey, which is a bit surprising to me. I'm really happy that Journey has made it this far, at least to the Challenger Series. We get to see one good best of five against like a mid-tier player, you know? Yeah, absolutely. It's exciting to see him make it this far. And yeah, he definitely had a hard bracket to go through to do it. So just about, I mean, where is his TVP at right now? You know, he, he's clearly proven himself in TVT and TVZ. It's going to be his yeah. first real test. And if he can get this far, if he can get past Myungshik, he might actually have a great season. Yeah. Um, it, it will be interesting. You know, his TVP could actually be quite bad. We actually don't really know at all. You know, he may have been really happy with the bracket that he got in qualifiers. He's like, oh, Sue, a, a Zerg player, that's fine. I'll 2 him. But then once he sees a Protoss player, even of the caliber of Myungshik, he's probably like, whoa, uh-oh. Yeah, Myungshik should be pretty confident going into this, but... Uh I think he might have said a little something in the in the change room where he's like, uh, he's, he's kind of worried because it is a Terran. I, I, oh, really? Yeah, he's kind of like, oh, it's, it is Terran. Mm. So he, he's a little afraid of the matchup as well. Yeah. Myungshik played one too many all in builds against TY, and that's why he's scared of Terrans. It could be it. And this is going to be a particularly aggressive Terran with that gas first opening. Yep. Really wants to get out that factory. Probably going to go for a pretty early mine drop. Yeah, and looking at Myungshik's space as well, he goes for double gas, but he's only getting four probes worth of gas, two in each. So we are going to have a pretty, you know, heavier than normal gas build here out of Myungshik as well. Yeah, well, it is Myungshik after all. He probably will go for some sort of uh, early tech, some sort of aggression early on, but he is getting that mothership in Stalker out first of all. Yeah. Uh, interesting pylon, pylon placement as well. He's got that pylon down at the bottom of his ramp. Wonder uh, what buildings are going to be made there. Yeah, that is pretty interesting. Perhaps he could throw a stargate up to the north of that pylon. It would be a nice little place to put it. But uh, yeah, it's a different place, different placement for it. Yeah. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't, I don't believe Myungshik actually scouted at all before now. Yeah, he, he certainly did not. He has no idea where he's, uh, the opponent is currently. So this is actually looking like a bit of a safe build, where he gets that extra gas. He's able to get out of Stalker and Mothership Core in quick time, right after he gets the Cybernetics Core, and then he just scouts with them, basically. Kind of just takes map control, and he yeah. just scouts that Mothership a little bit. He's going to find an SCV building in the CC. Is he going to commit to that? Or is he going to go for the tech scout? Getting that SCV. Easy kill. Uh, I think he also was able to see those Hellions. Yeah, he should have at least. We'll see what he's got on his ramp in just this moment. And he does have a Stalker there. Interesting. Yeah, I think he's definitely got an idea, but that's only one Stalker. Wow. Oh, it's, it actually is able to block there with now, that pylon. Look at that. What? What a great placement there. I think Myungshik actually he's really knows Journey here. He's found his new tech, man. It's like threw down a, a pylon at the ramp. He can block with one Stalker. That's, that's actually really impressive. I haven't seen that before. 
Yeah, but the if you remember, um, Classic versus Dream, game number one, he made this crazy wall off to hold off yeah, against Terrans. That was I, on a merry-go-round. Yeah, I think this is a new thing that Protosses are doing. They're like, oh, Terrans are going back to Hellions against Protoss. We need to mm. find ways to stop it. And maybe this is Myungsik's way, or maybe he just knows that Journey loves to play Hellion style against Protoss, and he's like, okay, I just have to do this, and I'll be totally fine. Yeah, it is very possible. I do like that. It might just be map-specific. We haven't seen uh, many maps like that with the kind of ramp and interesting sort yeah. of cliff above it. So we'll see if it gets used on other maps here today. But uh, I do like that. Really, really cool. Uh, one other thing to note, there is Blink on the way, and three gates already have been made. Yeah, well, he's Blink's finishing up pretty soon as well. He's going to have to lift his CC or lose it. Uh, one mine is there, but it's out of position. It looks like a, a mine made for an Oracle. And look at the amount of units wow. that Journey has. He's barely got anything. And look at this time warp. It gets onto every single army unit. And all the SCVs trying to charge him down. Blink is not yet done, keep in mind. But he is still getting a lot of damage. Yeah, this is huge damage. So many SCVs going down already. Widowmine goes off on the one probe that already built the pylon. Youngseek is in a fantastic spot right now. Yeah, he's looking great. Blink is finished now. He can just trade out shields for the SCVs and get out of dodge. And Look he's at that miles tech ahead. lab, it's burning down. Oh, he's got to repair that. He does get the repair, but is it going to matter at the end of all of this? No, I don't think so. They're still way too healthy at this point. And it goes down as well. I think that's going to be it. It's going to be a quick game one here. Win from Myungsik. GG. Nightmare start for Jenny. Misreading oh the build order. Maybe needs to be a little bit more aggressive when it comes to scouting. Uh, maybe you want to try a Reaper opening next time or... I don't know, it seemed like a pretty greedy build yeah. that we did see from Journey as well. Going for that CC so early on the low ground and kind of setting up to defend against an Oracle that was never coming. And the gas first, you get those fast Hellions, but if the Hellions do nothing, guess what Hellions are really weak against? Blink Stalkers. Nunchik immediately 